Hi everybody, welcome to the November 2020 edition of Family History Project magazine. We have a greatly extended show this month. Um, something for everybody. Michael and I narrating through uh, a video I posted earlier, some years ago. Um, it's the family home movies my mom and dad took when we were all grown up. It's got everybody in it, all my, my aunts and uncles, both sides grandparents, both sides, cousins, from everywhere. So we hope you enjoy it. Um, let us know if you'd like to see more of these things. We have tons of video footage. Um, so sit back and relax. Family History Project magazine starts now. Okay, that's Stella Cleo, my mom. That is Aunt Iva there. Uh, Aunt Elva. I think that's Owen in the background. It's Darlene and my mom, Stella. Uncle Claude in the background. Uncle Leo. Uncle Aunt Violet. There's Owen. Ralph. My dad and me, and there's Grandpa, Uncle Leo. Everybody looks like they're 12 in this, don't they? Mm -hmm. There's me, Doug, and my dad, Estel. There I am. I haven't changed looks at all in all these years. I still look the same, fat and bald. That's okay. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> okay, who are these? That's Uncle Leo. There's Grandpa. There's me again in the sun. This was shot out at um, Swope Park, by the way, in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, we used to go there quite a lot for get-togethers and just just to hang out. It's a nice place to hang out. Get him back in the sun. There's the train. That, that's This is in Swope Park Zoo. This is the old train. Um, this is the one I remember as a kid. And if you look really close, all the families on this train, there's Darlene and Judy, Kenny, Keith, Grandpa, Iva, Owen, we're all on there. This is down at the lake. That's my Aunt, Aunt Rosie, my Uncle Bill, up there in the overalls. Where's the shot at, Michael? You know, I don't know. That's uh, my Aunt Violet and Uncle Buck. Buck, yeah. There's uh, Willie, Rosie, Rosie and, and Willie, Willie. and I, th I th is that Billy? You think it might be? Probably it has to be one There's of the older ones. There's Grandma and, and Becky, Kathy. Irene, and Pat in the background. Trying to get Becky to look at the camera, and she ain't. No, that's Mom there. in the background. Well, I can't she tell. Ain't there. That's Kathy Louise with Grandma, mm -hmm. and Grandma ain't having no luck getting these babies to look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Henry in the back. That lady had the patience. Uh oh. There she goes, Kathy smiling. 
down at the lake somewhere. Yeah. Kathy Louise. And she has a dress on. Yeah, there's <laughs> Kathy and I. And Kathy, I still remember what you did that day. I'll never forget it. Make me grandpa. cry like that. There's Grandpa. And Buck. And Uncle Buck. The sawmill. This is Grandpa's the sawmill. Sawmill, yeah. Which was across the road uh, from the house. Well, they get a lot of time. On, uh, what road was that? WW. WW, yeah. And T. Here's Aunt Rosie and, Ka- and Kathy. That, I believe, oh, that, uh, and the checkered shirt is uh, Henry Cable. That's Grandma and Grandpa at the mill. Uh, I don't know who that was. Grandpa used to make fence post and railroad ties at his mill. Uh, he made a good living making railroad ties. There I am in my little red Corvette, way before Prince ever stole the idea from me. This is on the front porch of the 1115 Kings Highway address. <clears throat> that was my car. I was proud of that car. Mom said I loved to sit in that car. That was my thing. Oh, and eat flowers, I guess. <laughs> There's Darlene. Hey, sis. Judy. Hey, sis. I think this is out at Lake Chicomo. Or it could be down at the lake. I, I don't know. No, Longview wasn't there then. Okay. No, this is Lake Chicomo. Yeah, I see the dam. And a fly that was on the lake. No, at this time, my Grandma and Grandpa Adams were still living on Lo- on the Longview farm. Oh, okay. There's Kenny in his headdress that Mom made, she hand-sewn. How she did that, I will never know. And this is, again, at the 1115 Kings Highway address. That is a neighbor girl. That is Sharon Hodges. That's Keith in his head headdress at Mom's own for, for scouts. We were always in scouts. Dad was a scoutmaster for years. We all went through scouts. It's one of the best things a kid can go through, male or female. Oh, and parades, endless parades. We had parades for everything back then. I have no idea what this parade is for. But this is in front of Palmer. It was Palmer Junior High School then. There's the First Baptist Church where we held our scout meetings at in the basement of that church. Look at these old cars. Of course, they were probably new cars then, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And off we go, marching in excruciating precision. We always did that. There's the memorial building behind. It seems like when I was in Scouts, we were either marching in a parade, holding ropes at a parade. How many remember that? Boy Scouts used to hold ropes for crowds, keep crowds out of the street. Or we were on a, a overnight somewhere. This is on the Independence Square, by the way. That was by the Skelly gas station. Yeah, by the Skelly gas station that your dad worked at. He was probably working there. Probably was. Then. This is the late 50s, early 60s. Here we come, walking down the street. Oh, he heard me. <laughs> nice old cars. Yeah. And our, our parades had horses in it. Remember when they used to have horses in every parade? Yeah. I don't think they do that anymore, do they? Um, they usually have a Halloween parade at Cobwood wasn't going on. Uh, they don't have horses at it, though, do they? 
Sometimes they have the shiners in the little mini. There's the little, what do you call these, uh, baton, baton twirlers? Yeah. Oh, God. The Everybody's Kansas so young. The Kansas City parades usually have some horse mounted horsemen. Sometimes if they got bigger military ones, they do that. And here, I think, is our troop, our scout troop. Coming up. Yep, there we are. That's Kenny waving, by the way, right there. Kenny and Keith were, to, were standing together. I don't know why they weren't wearing their headdresses. There's the horses. Ooh, that's pretty. And they always seemed like they put the horses in the middle of the parade, so everyone after them had to <laughs> put the mic up to your mouth. I got it up there. Everyone at, there they come from the scout meeting. There's Kenny, Keith, Harold, Darlene, and Judy behind Dad's old truck. Okay. Baseball. I'm not sure where this was shot at. I wish somebody could tell me which... It was behind some school in Independence, I'm thinking, but I don't know. I can never f figure out the location. Does it look like it's over in Susquehanna, maybe, Mike? You know, I'm not for sure. There it looks like 50s houses, track houses. Um, just by looking at it, I have no idea. I, it's, ha it's hard. Yeah. It could be out in... It could be out in Hickman Mills too, because they hung out, hung around a lot in out in right by Ruskin. Ruskin Heights. That's where Grandma and Grandpa lived, out by Longview. But I don't know. This one's got, and there's a picture of the school, but it doesn't look like any schools I've seen in Independence. School or church or something. Is that the school down on Truman Road? No. No. That's at spring, spring, branch. spring branch. Oh, here yeah. we are. Um, this is Hill Park in Kansas City. Spent lots of time in that park flying kites. Oh, this was Dad building the back end of the house, the 1115 Kings Highway address. This is when he was adding on the bathroom and the two back bedrooms. He added the garage on much later after this was done. This was around... Ooh, late 50s. Oh, the swing set. Darlene, Judy, and Harold were addicted to this swing set. That's all All they did that seemed like a swing on the swing, swing set. Swing on the swing <laughs> set, yeah. Year-round, didn't matter if it was snowing around. That's Harold, and this the little blonde-haired boy was, um, we called him Tito. I'm not sure where that name came from or who what his name actually was or who he belonged to. But um, this is our neighborhood. Every house had kids in it. This is back down at the lake, Lake of the Ozarks. I'm assuming. Looks like it. I I don't know who that one is. Back on a parade. No, another. Parade. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> they never stopped. They were endless. Got to be independent. It, oh, it's yeah, these are all independents. Trying to yeah, that's right up on the square. This is not too far from my house now. That's the gas station that was down there. Oh, okay. You know, on the old yeah. one. Yeah, I live just uh, about a block and a half up from that now. The horses and the puppy dogs. This one, I, it took me a while to figure out what it was, but that's our dog. I think it was Lightning. Wagging his tail, happy puppy, because he's got Harold with, with him. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Darlene. Oh, she's so Darlene cute. With the puppy. This Cub Scout meeting at Mrs. Whitehead's house. Um, the Whiteheads, the Whitehead family and our family were very, very close family. Um, did a lot of stuff together. She was our piano teacher for the girls and me. Uh, very, very nice and talented lady. 
her husband worked with Dad at KCPNL at the Hawthorne station for years and years and years until he was killed in an a, uh, accident there, an explosion. There's the Cub Scout sign. I have no idea what we're what we're. There's Kenny. God, I can't believe how young he. Was. <sighs> yeah, he had to give Cub Scout. There's Harold, and I think that's Judy. And there's. You see the back, see the, of, the the back of our eleven forty. So Hayden address. Boy, the neighborhood looks so different. Yeah. There's wow. a house there. Now, that used to be a hole on the side of that picket fence where uh, all the boys played played fort and cops and robbers and Indians and stuff over there before they built that house. Here we are back on the swings. Yeah. It's swing time with Darlene and Judy. That The doors in the basement to our old houses. This is Jack, Jackie Cable getting a bath or sitting in a tub <coughs> for some reason. Her red hair. Look at that red hair. God. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow dress. I bet she's probably never seen this video. She probably hasn't. <laughs> I don't think she's a member. We ought to add her. There's uh, Judy, I believe. Yeah, that's Judy. Trying to force this bottle down her throat. Oh, there she goes. Judy, give her that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Shut her up. Get me Shut out of here. Up. Get get me out of here. And oh, this in the me. in the uh checkered dress is Patty Cable, I believe. Probably Vicky Taking and the other. Taking her for a walk. Yeah. Pulling her arms off. <laughs> yanking her arms off. <laughs> that's what sisters do. You're going to stand and you're going to like it. No, yeah, that's, that's Darlene. Darlene that's and then that's, that's Patty. Patty. Yeah. And Judy. And yeah. Judy. Oh. And there's Darlene and Judy. And that mom made them th that dress, those dresses. And they're so proud of those. And there's Harold. Being Harold. <laughs> God, I miss him. And off into the sunset they go. This, I believe, is... And it looks too hilly to be down at the lake, but... It could be. It could be. Different. Oh, no. You know what this is? This what? is footage that Mary and Henry shot somewhere. On, they were on, went somewhere, and they took Mom and Dad's camera oh, and okay. shot this footage. And I have never figured out where it's at. There's Mary fishing the old way. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know who these people that are with them are. I don't know if it was if it's his brother Fred or if it was I don't know. This looks to me like it's down in Arkansas, the the hills. Yeah. Now that looks like Pike Pike's Peak to me. I've been up that one. That's a scary one. Got a little zoo or little something. Little zoo somewhere. Yeah. Little monkey. With chicken wire around it. Raccoons. Who puts raccoons in a zoo? You can see racco raccoons anywhere. <laughs> More lake. Buffalo. Buffaloes. Quite a few of them. It's like. not around here. This is a roadside thing. It Some, like. yeah, somewhere. Buffalo, Buffalo Ranch. Ranch. I think we looked at it. Nancy up. Jane Mountain. That's what that said. I don't know where that is. I have to look for it. And a little skip of nothing. There we go. 
And this is a clip I've never been able to figure out who. That looks like Patty to me. Yeah. But I don't know who these other little ones are. That's Patty or Vicky. And this is a power station Dad was helped building in Itan, Itan, Kansas, I think. Back in the day. In the 50s or 60s? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's winter on our street. There's the chicken house we had in our old backyard. Oh, wow. That house right there, <clears throat> not too long after this was shot, that house burnt down. And uh, there was a man and his wife living there, and they both got out okay. Uh, but uh, Dad had to give the man some pants and a shirt to wear because he had nothing on when he left the house. And they never rebuilt that house. They just demolished it. Half the block's gone now. Yeah. yeah you know, Kenny and Keith playing in the snow. Remember when you could stay out all day long and play in snow? Now if you're out in it for more than 45 seconds, right. you're dying. There's Harold and Tito and Darlene. I never understood what this head rubbing thing was. <laughs> <laughs> Probably head lice. And they didn't have microwaves then, so I couldn't have stood too close to the microwave. This is out at Longview Farm. This is the farm. That is uh, Mr. Gary, I believe, coming down the pole. What he was doing up the pole, I have no idea. Yeah. There's Darlene, Harold, and Judy, and the girls with their babies. Aunt Cleo. There's my mom with Judy. I'd really help it out. Appreciate it if y'all help us identify these people that we're, we're missing, because I just don't know some of them. That was the farm. See, and this is the driveway here, and it went right back. Michael and I have been trying to find out where this, where this, this property and the buildings that were, were, and we it, need to go back here now. When the snakes close go to away, sh shelter number one at Longview yeah. Lake. It's beside it. Uh, you have to walk back to get there now, and we did and got a lot of. Tips. There's a road that goes that's that's closed off that you have to go down. Um, that I don't know who that was. That went by too quick. Green car. That was a neighbor lady that always helped uh, with scout stuff. And a little chicken coop in the back. Everybody had chicken coops back then. Look, there's like no houses in the neighborhood. Blackburn. Blackburn, Missouri. Missouri. By Concordia. Somebody dad knew, uh, I don't know if he worked with them or knew him some other way, lived in Blackburn. And they went up there to hang out and... Got a picture of his house. Nice pond. Or maybe it's bigger than the pond. I it think it's a like lake. It's probably a lake or something. There's my mama saying hi. Hey, mama. And that is this, not that. This is the gentleman's house they went to see. No idea who it is. Wish I did. And how dad and him were related. The swing set again. Look, the whole yard's full of kids and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and Blackburn's not a big town. It seems like our house was the house that all the neighbor kids hung out at for some reason. Probably the swing set. <laughs> there was Grandma Adams. There she is. No, that's. No, that's. I'm sorry. That was Mary Cable. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Mary Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> there the boys are on the swing set. Finally, some man time on the swing set. Ah, oh, here we go. Playing in the snow. That looks so steep there off 23rd it, Street. It was steep then. It's like they've leveled it out or something over the years. But it was a lot steeper back when we were kids. That house at the end of the block with the red windows in it. Yeah. 
uh, that man used to dress up as Santa Claus every year and come to every house on the on the block and give kids stuff and candy. Oh, cool. Mr. Uh, Odell, Mr. Odell was his name. He had a heart attack and passed away one day in a, on, on a winter day. And there are like two houses that they took out for Casey's, where Casey's is. No, there was a whole block they took out for Casey's. Yeah, a lot of houses were tore out for that. Sled riding. I wouldn't do that today if you paid me. My back would be out for four years. <laughs> you get on the inner tube, but you can pop up in the There's air. There's a snowman. And look, it's winter, and the girls are wearing dresses. I do not understand that. Oh, they do have their boots on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I, how, that's cute. How can you wear dresses in that kind boots. of weather? <laughs> I knew this. There's something else we did every single weekend is go to a park or a school playground or something with Dad. He always took us out, always basketball or catch or baseball or just running around being kids. But we were always together. Darlene backing away from the camera. <laughs> we always knew where our dad was. He was either at home or at work <laughs> or at his parents. That old, that old garage in the background there contained a Model T Ford that the gentleman who, owned, who built the house, Mr. Hutcherson, kept in that garage. Um, they decided they wanted to move to Texas, and Mom and Dad bought the house from them. Oh, dogs. We always had a dog around. Dogs are, dogs are the best. Nothing like having a puppy around. There's Harold raking. This is back down at the farm. There's Ruby. She dances here. Watch. See? See? See mm -hmm. the dance? Clogging. <laughs> that was Ernie and Juanita, I believe. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Swing time. Back on the swings. That yard looks so much bigger. <laughs> oh, there was a dog up there, and they were trying to scare the dog off by throwing rocks at it. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently. Oh, he's winding up. Here he goes. He's winding up. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Yeah, did that a couple times. That is Dolores Adams, daughter of Fred and Irma. There's Diana Adams, and there's Fred, and that was Dale, and there's Miss Irma. The, the the black dog that we had before, we we saw before, uh, one time when Fred was coming up to see Mom and Dad, he found that dog beside the road and he brought it up and gave it to Mom and Dad, and that dog was just right at home. Oh, here we are flying a kite. Dad took us flying a kite. Couldn't get it off the ground. Just wouldn't work. There's Miss Darlene. Just we ran around. Tell mom figured out you had to put a tail on it. <laughs> <laughs> and she made a tail out of something or another. And there it goes. <laughs> Dad in his his engineer's hat. Miss Darlene. Something happened. <laughs> Something <laughs> not good. <laughs> There's the kite. Up, up, and Dad away. Dad gave up and just sat down and had a cigarette. And let somebody else fly the kite. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kenny. 
Judy. Oh, girl, that's on concrete. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Harold, <laughs> do it out there. That is Hill Park again on 23rd Street, in just, just inside of Kansas City. Spent a lot of time in that park. Oh, we got the kite here. Coming down the sidewalk. This this slide. The boys loved it. Judy loved it. Judy loved it. Darlene was terrified of the slide. She was not having it until she started down. <laughs> and there's Harold doing Harold. <laughs> <laughs> having a good time <laughs> we love the teeter-totter this is down at uh, this was the 40 acres that dad had bought down at the lake near grandma and grandpa there's Aunt Rosie grandma That's Aunt Pat Marion Braden and Phoebe Braden's old this house. This is Marion. Who is that? Marion Braden. That's Marion Braden? Uh, the house is. But who was the lady? Phoebe, his wife. Oh. Uh, that's the people he bought the land at WW. And, and there's a, another shot of the the mill. I believe that is William Jacob running the mill. Yeah, that's Uncle Bill. There. Yeah. I bet his kids have never seen this either. Probably not, because I don't think half of them are on the Family History Project magazine page. Okay. Ooh, white space. That's Grandpa Simmons. Can you see, Michael? I can't really. If you, there That's you go. That's your mom. I don't know who that is. That's the house on... That's the big snow that they always talked about. Huge snow. Everything was shut down. The snow drifts were so high they couldn't get out the back door. This whenever, whatever year this was. Okay. That must have been for the nineteen seventy seven one. No, oh, this was back in the sixties. Okay, for my time, or I don't remember it. This was sometime after I was born. So, see Kings Highway and Twenty Third Street. People driving by, they're sliding. See down. that house up there on Twenty Third Street? Yeah. We always called that the witch's house because it was an old lady that stayed there, and she had a goat. So that made her a witch, witch. and everybody was scared of her. <laughs> <laughs> you walk by that house real quick, the witch will get you. And look at all the ice on the trees. Yeah. Big snow. And the house on, on King's Highway is still there. Um, I would love to own that house. I love that house. But when people move in there, they tend to stay there for many, many years. We're flying kites again. Yeah, I don't know how there. we went from winter to fall. Fall. <laughs> but well, we spring, done it. Usually in the spring. You've spring. seen it. We've done it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Hill Park or Blue Valley Park? It's Blue Valley Park. You're, that's right. You're, yeah. Okay. Up there. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a fall. Blue Valley Park. I don't know why I always call it Hill Park, but... Yeah, you know, Darlene, she's like, yeah, this this is kind of good one. We yeah, went, this is definitely Blue Valley Park. Yeah, we went up there and when it was snowing on inner tubes, and some kids slide were down popping, that hill. Some kids were popping up on the, onto Twenty Third. Yeah, Street. that yeah. hill is dangerous in the snow, man. You get you get some speed coming down that that thing. And Twenty Third Street, just a two lane road. Then, yeah, on the, uh, right about where that house is or whatever. Yeah. There's a school down. Yeah, it's a big. A uh, charter school. Mm -hmm. 
The way that kind of looks, I wonder if they if that park where they're playing softball is on that on a. I don't see. There's not as many houses around here, right? Though. And I don't think there's a baseball diamond on there anymore. There, there's Darlene and Judy. There's, I think Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Okay, so we're back into winter. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I love about these movies is they're not. This not is Missouri. Anywhere. You can have boom, spring, boom, you can have summer and winter <laughs> at the same next time. day <laughs> or the same day. It's <laughs> really, yeah. That that house there was the one that burnt. Oh, this is Christmas at Grandma and Grandpa Adams' house on McGee. I've heard that that was actually Grandpa Adams in the Santa Claus outfit, but I don't believe that at all. There's Darlene, and I, I can't make out hardly He's any of these other on kids. He's got glasses whoever it is. Yeah, he wore glasses. Okay. Uh, I can make out Darlene. I can't make... I can't, it's, it's so yeah, dark. so I can't, dark. I know that, that was Claude there. There's Grandpa. There's Aunt Violet and uh, Uncle Leo. Oh, I miss those two. I love those two. They were, those, they were awesome. All my aunts and uncles were amazing people. I would have wish I would have listened to them more while they were here. <laughs> Their stories. I, I believe that was Irma. That that is uh, Ruby, Claude's wife. Don't know. That's uh, Uncle Fred. His dad. Oh, please help, please help us identify these people, guys. Yeah, I, they're really moving fast in this video. That goes by so fast, but now that it's on video, we can freeze frame it and go frame by frame. I'd really love to identify everybody in these movies and locations. Pretty Christmas tree. Now, this tree, I believe, was at home, a uh, home on King's Highway, but I'm not sure. Looks like Aunt Cleo back there. I don't know. No, I think that's Diana. Maybe this is still at Grandma and Grandpa's. That's Dad, I think. There's the girls with their dolls. And their matching outfits. And there's Kenny, Keith, and Harold. This must be before I was born, because... Yeah. I've noticed I'm not in it. <laughs> or I was at the babysitter or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they left me in the trunk. <laughs> but I'm still not sure if this is at home or still at Grandma and Grandpa's. I think this, is, about the code this is at home. This is, I think... No, I'm wrong. This is still at Grandma and Grandpa's because they had those curtains hanging up uh, as a in the room divider in the front room. I think I might be totally wrong. Somebody let me know. <laughs> Darlene. Somebody who was there, <laughs> let me know. Darlene and the boys. Darlene and Judy, the boys. I don't know why the lighting is so bad in these these shots. No, this is at home. This is at King's Highway. I was wrong. Because there's our TV. And the curtains. Yeah. And the curtains. Yeah, that was at home. This is at home. Yeah. Oh, they're getting their dollies. And I re seem to remember we always opened our presents at night, and I don't know if it was after we got back from Grandma and Grandpa's or Christmas Eve, or I don't, I don't know. Christmas Eve, we got to open one. This, I believe, is up north at Iva's house, but I'm not sure. All right, not Iva, Elva, Elva and Owen's house. And I want to identify these kids so bad. <laughs> it drives me crazy. <laughs> so if you were one of these people running into the house, <laughs> speak up. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> little Miss Thing. There's Uncle Ralph. There's Harold doing Harold. <laughs> Puppy dog. Dad doing dad. Yeah, there's Dad yeah. doing dad. Harold, Harold got to be Harold. <laughs> <laughs> he's a smiling. I'm not sure where this is. I'm thinking this is back down at the lake, but I'm not sure. I barely see him walking. There's I, yeah, I can't. I have almost. no clue who. Okay, that's Judy and me. Hey, sis. Miss Judy K. And look at my stylish hat. Uh-huh. That was I was cool. I had it going on. Look at it. You were a flapper. <laughs> I was. Look at that. Original and teeth. OG. I didn't need no teeth. <laughs> the original OG. <laughs> styling. I was styling back then. Look at that. Good looking boy. He's going to grow up to be famous. <laughs> Yellow is your color. Yellow is my color. <laughs> Puppy dog. Uh oh. The benditos. Here's Kenny driving the dog train. Hey, there, watch it. Hey, mush. Mush puppies. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you got it. There's Miss Diane and Miss Darlene. And uh, this is a neighbor girl. I don't know what her name was. There's... Showing their dolls. Showing their dolls. Their Everybody guns. got a doll and a gun. Toys. Girls always had their dolls. Boys always had their guns or their cowboy stuff. Everybody was doing cowboys back then. I I don't know who this is. This is some footage. I don't know who took it. I'm thinking your mother might have taken this footage. That might be somewhere. Misty. But I don't know. yeah, it doesn't. I've tried to lighten it and color correct it, but it's just it's just too too magenta, too dark. Kind of looks like misty in the white. And that house does not look familiar to me. And this one needs to turn around so we can see who she is. 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 See, it kind of it could be mom, maybe. You think it's your mom? Either that or it's on the Adam side. I wonder if that's that house down there, that that real small house they first lived in, down the street from Mom and Dad's. No, the yard is too big there. That's a tiny... Yeah. It's not... This is mystery footage. It's not Hokey Road, is it? It No. That was mystery footage. If anybody can identify any of that, please speak up. This is down at the lake with... I believe that's Miss Mary Cable under that. Or Frida. That is the. Okay, this is footage your mother shot. You tell about it. Yeah, this is Uncle Bill Middleton climbing with his motorcycle up the hill at Holt, Missouri. And there he goes up the hill. And it's like a straight up up the mountain. And he made it. Uh, A lot of people were there. Watching him. Where's Holt at? It's up by the river. It's before you get to St. Joe. Oh, oh, it's up north. Uh, okay. It got flooded this not too long ago, the river. But it, those are bluffs by the river. Oh, they're cool. Riding motorcycle straight, right, straight up the hill. Cool. So we know that they were crazy. Yeah. They are wearing helmets, though, so. Yeah. They're probably on Harley, too, going up there. 
I can't even imagine how much a Harley cost. And this, back then. I don't know what year this was. It could have been before I was born. I don't know. Um, but Mom is the one that took took this video of Uncle Bill going up the hill. So, sometime. 1964 through the 60s. early 70s. Yeah. 60. And what year were you born? 65. 65. So, uh. Dang, you're old. I'm young. You're, you're old. I'm th like 30 something, 30 ish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to. I need to make a clip of this to give to Uncle Bill's yeah, kids. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Mom was the only one that took a video of it, so. Yeah, you know, his family's never seen it. No. Has your mom even seen it? They probably seen it. They had a camera at one time where they could, you know, watch it, but. Uh, but not this, not this clip. Yeah, no, they haven't seen it. Has your mom seen this? She has, but it's been decades, many okay. since she shot it, probably. What is, oh, this is Bagnell Dam down at the Lake of the Ozarks. Oh wow, it looks even safe in there. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's a little different now. Yeah, <laughs> just a little different. They just uh, got a McDonald's down there on Bagnell Dam. God, They're talking about it. There we're back at home at 1115 Kings Highway, Independence, Missouri. Mom's flowers. She, that lady loved loved her flowers. Loved her flowers and her plants. There's the two back bedrooms and the, the new bathroom. Not sure what this is. This looks like down at the lake. Sassafras. That's sassafras? It could be. I drank a lot of that. I love sassafras. Is that down at Longview Lake? Is that the farm? I, I don't know. Uh, there's That's corn Indian. there. There's uh That's a big farm. Looks like he's looking for something. His dad digging for nuts. Acorns probably. Acorns. Or walnuts or something. Right. Pecans. Anyway, the shot before was oh, Ernie and Juanita Lamb. Oh yeah. Dang. Somebody had an accident. Somebody had a dinger. <laughs> this grandpa on his pipe. That's the thing. Any time I I can smell certain smells and I get memories, you know, attached to them. And Grandpa's house was pipe, tobacco, and peppermint. And every time I smell that, I know my grandpa's around close, her grandma. Our neighbor smoked cherry tobacco. Now there is Grandma Adams, Miss Bertha. Not a lot of pictures with Miss Miss Bertha in it. She kind of shunned, shunned it. There's Miss Ruby. Ruby's daughters. I think that's Karen. Karen, yeah, it looks like it look, and that's looks Gary. like Ruby. So, uh, one of your aunts or cousins? Yeah. <laughs> that's Owen. Didn't he have his own business? This must be uh, uh, Aunt Elva's house up north. Yeah, Owen was a, a printer. He had a printing shop yeah, for I years think. and years and years. I, uh, those are cows. I uh -huh. I know those are cows. I've, I've <laughs> seen a cow. I I've, I looked up and found Owen's uh, obit. Yeah, I've got it somewhere. In the Kansas City Star. You're dead. Yeah, this is definitely Elva's place. Oh, look, a we're parade. Back, we're back at the parade again. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like they always started at the same place. Or maybe that's just where our troop gathered to 
get our stuff together and get in line and right it's probably where it started yeah palmer yeah yeah 236 that was my troop i still got my patches i think mine was 232 but we were at the rlds there still got my boy scout patches and i have dad's uh i've got dad's boy scout I've uniform when he was a uh, uh the scoutmaster also have dad's world war 2 navy outfit his dress blues And you got a picture of Uncle Estel and the boys and President Truman. Yep. And scouts. Yep. I think I got that. I don't know. I thought I got that. I thought you had the picture or you scanned it. I've seen it before. No, we had the picture, but I don't know if I've got it. Something's mysteriously disappeared. Mm-hmm. How they do. Oh, there's their gas station again. Yep. <laughs> that's Maple. wonder if that's your daddy maple. was working that day. That's Maple, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's going, the di- it's going the different way this year. Right. <laughs> that's Pleasant and Maple. <laughs> the street street corner and it goes up maple to the square two thirty six there Kenny waving real quick your people remember and you used to follow parades they'd walk along with them yeah I was in Cub Scout in Halloween and different ones up there we went for a paper drive Ooh, every those Saturday. Horses, God, they're be- Ooh, that was pretty horse. Ooh, the cars are so cool. This is at Woodlawn. C- this must have been Memorial Day because it always ended up at Woodlawn Cemetery, Cemetery on Memorial yeah. Day. So yeah. Woodlawn Cemetery. I live just a few, just a block or two away from that now. Spend a lot of time there. We have family there. We got a lot of family. More which than I, 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 I never realize. realized. But it's good to take a walk over for lunch and have a chat with them once in a while. Family, friends, and colleagues and, buried yeah. there. Neighbors. This this cemetery is haunted. Also, if you watched the the show last year, this is the wall that the lady in in white, lady in gray, the lady in gray walks the length of the front wall of the cemetery. Uh, she's been spotted, but almost nobody knows anything about her. So maybe someday she'll let us know her story. I'd love to hear it. Beautiful cemetery. President Truman's grandmother and great grandparents are buried here. So is his wife. Okay, this is out at my aunt Mary's house on Holky Road. There's Frida. I think it's for a baby shower or something. It's my baby shower, it? <laughs> and I think this is Bob. It looks like him. Yeah. I think. There's more. There's. I don't know who, there's Everett right there on the snowball. Uh-huh. That's Everett. That must be down at Hokie or down at the lake. I miss Everett. Everett, Everett was a uh, uh, one-of-a-kind person. <laughs> he was awesome. He loved his bugs and snakes and creepy-crawly things. That's Kenny. I loved that house on Hokey Road. Is this a cool little house? Their neighbors always had square dancing on the weekend. You can go sit out on on Mary and Henry's lawn and watch them all down there square dancing in the garage. Very cool. I don't know. That's a pretty good size hill there. That's Misty. That's Misty. Uh, Miss Misty. There's Mary. 
Look how pretty. Uh, she's beautiful, beautiful lady. Donna There's Lee. Aunt Donna Lee, another beautiful lady. <laughs> stop Stop turning away from the camera. <laughs> food. We always had food. Oh, my God. Everything we fit, this There's family Mom did. There's yeah. Frida with her plate. God, I remember that house so well. I remember that front room. There's my mom in the red. Stella Cleo. There's, that was Bob. There's Gloria in the red. Misty. Misty. There's Miss Frida cutting the, cutting her cake. Mary, my Aunt Mary made all those cakes. She was the most talented person on this planet when it comes to cakes. She could do anything. Amazing. Made cakes for presidents and mayors and everything in between. And she made one for her sister, too. There's... There's Jackie right there in the red hair right mm-hmm. in the front and Frida and there's Gloria over there and I'm right behind Glor- Gloria and that's... Is that Shireen? No, Shireen wasn't even around then. Oh. That's that's me right there. Is that Patty next to Frida? Maybe? You're sitting on their lap, whoever it is. <laughs> 